chez Ten et Shop qui a ouvert il y a seulement deux saisons et qui est typiquement la boutique multimarque qui regorge de petits designers internationaux que l'on rêve de découvrir dans les Hamptons. C'est une boutique un peu new-yorkaise, mais en tout cas, quand on arrive ici pour se détendre, c'est le parfait moment pour faire du shopping. Alors, pour rester dans l'ambiance un peu casual des Hamptons, vous avez vraiment un mélange de baskets, de maillots de bain, de jeans ou bien encore des petits pulls puisqu'ici, il fait quand même assez frais le soir. Alors moi, j'adore ces baskets italiennes qui sont faites à la main. Ça s'appelle Golden Goose et vous les avez également en version un peu plus rock pour la ville en noir. Montante ou bien plate. L'accessoire indispensable, le maillot de bain triangle si possible, puisqu'ici vous avez quand même une majorité de plages de surfeurs et Copper's Beach est la numéro 3 des plus belles plages aux états unis Vous allez voir, le sable est blanc, la mer est bleu turquoise. Le seul problème, c'est qu'elle est très très froide. Et le sac que toutes les Américaines s'arrachent pour aller faire leurs courses à Southampton, so chic en canevas, assez large, mais complètement trendy, avec à l'intérieur le petit nounours qui fait un malheur. Jesse, how come did you have the, the idea to open a store? Were you in the fashion business before? Um, I actually was not in the, the fashion business. I was kind of doing some things related to it. Okay. Um, and then um, we... Like what? Um, well, I was actually, believe it or not, working in, in finance, but I was working with a lot of fashion and retail companies. Oh, okay. Um, and then actually before this store, we had opened a pop-up store in, in Aspen um, the winter before, oh. which was a cool kind of men's shop. We're gonna do Aspen, Aspen. Well, we'll have to reopen there then, do another pop-up store. For sure. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then we had opened this, this shop. Um, the bookstore actually had moved next door. Um, and then we came across this space, um, and it looked like there was some really cool brick and, and a great floor. And the space and is we, unbelievable. We took the ceiling down, so there was plenty of, of good bones in the space um, that it's we like kind of had noticed. It's like a New York right. uh, space that you brought in the middle of the Hamptons. Right. We definitely try to have a New York, you know, vibe, um, industrial, almost a little bit industrial kind of vibe, and then yeah. also kind of make it feel a little beachy, um, bring in some really good colors for the summer. So it's definitely an industrial beachy kind of vibe. So the girls who are coming here to shop, do you feel that they're coming more like for beach wear or also they can buy any like city uh, outfits? Uh, we carry both. Yeah. Um, we carry a lot of great stuff for the beach. Um, okay. And we also have a lot of good, you know, city kind of outfits. It really depends. Um, we cater to both. Sometimes women will come in and, and, and buy a, a, a something for the week. beach and then yeah. buy something to wear to work the, the, the following Monday. So um, there's right. definitely a lot of um, variety here that you can find. Um, the, the store is really big, so you really have like a mix of uh, the different women and men collections, but here it's more like the uh, men area, right? Right, we keep some, we also have men's in the front, but okay. we kind of have curated a men's section in the back, but we always change things up. Okay, um, that's great. You can come with your husband for one time, he's not gonna sit down for hours watching you trying, he's gonna have his... Uh, moment as well. Right, well sometimes sometimes our, our female customers come in with their husband, okay. um, pretending like they're going to be shopping with him, but, but in reality, in the back they're of their mind, they're for shopping them. for themselves, so it's a good, <laughs> good compromise. This 
it's funny that there is not specific uh, style for the Hamptons because all the people who are coming to the Hamptons, they are actually New Yorkers. Right. So you can't really describe the styles of the people who live in Southampton because it's New Yorkers, right? Right, well, I feel like the, the Hampton style is actually kind of casual. Okay. Um, everyone's always at the beach and, and everyone's kind of just relaxing on vacation. So, you know, we don't find a ton of difference between what people will wear in this town yeah. versus the next one. Okay, that's and great. I mean, that's why we call the Hamptons. But it's funny because when you cover it on TV, it's like small villages, run, right. you know, one after the other, and the whole thing is called the Hamptons, but people have a tendency to say, oh, South Hampton is very different than East Hampton and Montauk and East. And so. Yeah, well, with the traffic sometimes, it sometimes takes a while to get from South Hampton to East Hampton, so yeah. people who live in South or Watermill will, will kind Stay. of hang here and then <laughs> in, in, might not want to go to East Hampton just because it's, yeah. it's not very far distance-wise, but with traffic, it it's might take a very crazy. long time. Yeah. And keep the cool uh, vibe, okay? Right, that's what we'll do. I am in a very cool vibe now, too. <laughs>